After the massive crash we got on Bitcoin yesterday, Bitcoin is finally bouncing back. But on today's update video, I'm going to be going in depth about how every single Bitcoin crash has usually bottomed. And I'm going to be exactly explaining on how we should be approaching it this time around. Why this massive Bitcoin crash could actually mean a great thing for Bitcoin on the long term. And of course, I will be explaining the reasons why we are currently seeing this ever so slight bounce there and what could still be happening in the near future. So without any further ado, I will be discussing many other important charts as well here, including the reasons why we're currently bouncing and why I think we're not out of the woods yet here. So don't forget to once again stop with that like button back above 1000 likes. It will be highly appreciated. And with that being said, let me jump in towards the content. And before I'm going to be diving in towards the charts, guys, you may have been panic -set selling yesterday but one thing is for sure blackrock has not been because on-chain data is showing that they have not sold any bitcoin they did over 2 billion US dollars worth of volume and so far the blackrock etf data is not available yet here it's still saying 0.0, .0. it's going to be interesting what is going to be happening over here but yeah while you are clearly panicking blackrock isn't and to straight away explain to everyone out there why the market has not been crashing further is probably due to the fact that the market is pricing in a 60% chance that the Bank of Japan is going to be cutting the rates again and basically referring all the things they've been doing because they have basically created an extreme big worldwide economic chaos and why the Japanese yen has been decreasing a little bit in value and I discussed this already the Japanese yen is going to be crucial to be looking at because this chart, if it's going to be increasing more in price, it is going to be also increasing the risk of a potential worldwide recession. But if it's going to come down again, it's basically going to give everyone out there a little bit of a calmer feeling. But what is, of course, crucial to understand right now here is what is going to be happening next. So yesterday, there was, of course, a lot of panic on the market. People were calling that the Federal Reserve was going to be doing an emergency meeting. I personally believe that the chances as we are seeing the market rebound where once again are going to be decreased significantly and we're just going to get a 50 BPS rate cut in this September meeting which is happening in 43 days from now on and if we're going to be looking at the classical stock market the S&P 500 we've seen an ever so slight bounce here but what is important to understand if we're going to be looking from 2024 the beginning of the year we are still up in about 11 percent here so while the market indeed has been crashing very hard in the last what is it seven or six days here we are seeing clearly that the market is still up significantly so that is for me not really making up a reason for the fed to right now have an emergency meeting to straight away cut the rates but of course if the market were to be crashing even further and if the fix the volatility index worldwide is going to be increasing even more which is basically indicating there's a lot of panic on the market i expect indeed at that point i think we are indeed going to be having that emergency meeting from the federal reserve because basically the last two times the federal reserve did an emergency meeting was during the uh, 2020 pandemic crash and the 2008 financial crisis and those both times there was huge amounts of volatility on the market and exactly the same is currently happening so really the chances that this is going to be happening are actually quite small here i only believe that the federal reserve is going to be doing and holding an emergency meeting if things are going to get even worse and if potentially the stock market is going to be crashing another like five to six percent here and to right now go in towards the charts of bitcoin i've got some very important charts to be discussing because i do believe that i know how these crashes end here and i personally believe that this crash on bitcoin could be not over yet here because if we're going to be doing a deep dive on how bitcoin crashes always end and let me for example go towards the pandemic 2020 uh, 2020 crash which was this one over here we first had that lag down then consolidation and then a big crash downwards here from eight thousand dollars all the way down to four thousand US dollars an approximately 50 percent crash which was indeed quite a significant amount larger but the market cap of bitcoin is also bigger right now and that is the reason why we why it is currently a little bit smaller but what you can see also from that crash and this crash right now in example is that we had that sharp move here so usually the sharp move is the last move in the drop here towards the downside that is usually what tends to be happening then you bounce back towards the upside but what always happens at that point and this is just one example the 2020 pandemic crash here but every single big crash in bitcoin it tends to be behaving it's the, the same so you have that crash then you consolidate downwards move once again down below the low and then create a bullish divergence on the RSI 
and then usually you tend to be forming the bottom and Bitcoin tends to be bouncing back towards the upside. So what I think actually is going to be likely for Bitcoin to be happening is once again, consolidation, then maybe consolidate a little bit downwards, go back to 54,000 US dollars, have that final drop here back to 49 or 50,000 US dollars and then bounce towards the upside and create that next lag towards the upside. I mean, if we were to be looking at a classical bottom structure after a big crash in the market, this is what usually happens for Bitcoin. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be happening and i am very much aware that bitcoin can create an even larger crash here but that really depends on what is going to be happening with the bank of japan that really depends what is going to be happening with the interest rate decision from the federal reserve so those things we don't have any effect of and if these things are going to be changing in a very fast or in a way how we come predict it, the stock market is likely going to be going to be crashing and Bitcoin is likely going to be following. So yes, things could still get much, much worse for Bitcoin. But if we're looking at the scenario right now, things are actually cooling down here. And usually if we're looking back at history, the stock market tends to be topping out four to five months after the Federal Reserve starts to cut rates. And that is going to be probably somewhere in January. This is interesting to be seeing right now here because in November, we're also going to be having the US elections which I believe are going to be actually quite bullish for Bitcoin. So for an imminent short term bottoming structure, Bitcoin could be very well on its way right now here. And what I also want to be pointing out is that before every big, big Bitcoin move towards the upside, we always see first a massive crash here. So in 2020, we saw this massive consolidation phase where Bitcoin was trading in. And then before we went absolutely, absolutely exponential towards new automize, before Bitcoin went to 60,000 US dollars and I removed my face cam for a second, we saw that Bitcoin actually had that massive crash in that pandemic, right? We had that crash all the way down to 40,000 US dollars. In that case, it was like an over 50% crash towards the downside. And now since the market is way bigger, it has only been a 30% here. So once again, we're seeing a massive crash and if history were to re were to be repeating, we're going to be slightly creeping up back to 58,000 US dollars maybe, then come towards the top side of the region. And if we break the top side of the region, that is where the bull market is going to be starting for Bitcoin. And it's quite funny because I posted this chart as first on Twitter yesterday and now everyone has copied it on Twitter. So guys, if you want to be staying up to date about all the alpha, don't forget to subscribe to the channel right now here because we are first on all these major, major things and major discoveries in the market. will be highly appreciated. And if you want to be trading, I'm currently going to be looking at the new trading opportunity as well, but I'm going to be doing it with my approach of how I think the markets are always bottoming. So I am looking to open up a new Bitcoin long trade anytime soon here. And um, if you want to be joining me, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now here. But guys, if you want to be opening up a free trade, you can do so. If you're trying to go to the highest link description of today's video, press on on this link right here on Bybit. You will come to this page where you can currently claim a free 500 US dollar airdrop position. If you're interested in trading, check it out in the link description of today's video, guys. It's absolutely valuable SF. So make sure to check it out right now because it's only valid for another 40 days here. Then while all the panic and turmoil is happening, we can see that still Bitcoin on the weekly time frame is actually flashing one of the biggest buy signals right now we've seen in a very long time here and that is the hash ribbons flashing a buy signal right now on the weekly time frame uh, we can see that of course bitcoin is creating a massive uh, wick here and we really have to see how it's going to be playing out here but i've been discussing the larger consolidation phases for quite a while right now here but you can clearly see bitcoin is still in the midst of this massive consolidation phase and in the end of the day nothing all too bad is currently really happening and you can see that on the monthly time frame we are breaking below the very important support box right now for the moment but so far um it is still actually looking quite okay for bitcoin so this was it for me on today's update video guys if you did learn something from it don't forget to subscribe to the channel right now it will be highly appreciated slap on that like button share this video with your friends if you did learn something from it and I'll see you guys on the next one peace out goodbye